Hey, and welcome back to the podcast. We are here with Shujan Sarkar, and he is from OneLittleWeb.com. Now, One Little Web is an SEO agency, and Sujan is one of the leading SEO experts in the industry. They help business grow their organic traffic with a proven SEO strategy. We're talking about building quality backlinks and content for clients. The website is OneLittleWeb.com. Sujan, glad to be talking to you. Hi, Robert. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, I'm really excited. And I'm excited to be talking to you. We're wearing the same clothes. There are a couple of guys wearing some some black shirts. It must be a good sign. So uh, yeah. search engine optimization, backlinks, what do we need to know? And, and why should we be doing more of it? All right, perfect. Um, well, let me just um, I'll let, I mean, give you a little bit of background about me, what, uh, what I do and everything. So I, um, um, and, uh, I, I mean, I'm an entrepreneur myself, and um, I actually call myself an SEO enthusiast. Um, I eat, sleep, breathe SEO. So basically, I've been doing this for a while. So basically, it, it, I didn't actually get started with this business initially. Um, so basically, I was uh, doing website for for my own. I was, uh, you know, setting, I mean, creating websites and then flipping them for you know, uh, six or seven figures. And then I realized there is a, you know, huge opportunity or, you know, huge demand to be a specific um, for SEO and in quality content service in the niche. So then maybe it's been, it's been a couple of years, we got started with um, One Little Web. So over here, we provide um, SEO and link building services, content writing services. In other words, we help businesses uh, you know, grow organic traffic from search engines. Uh, so, we, you know, up until this point, we've been, uh, we've worked with more than 500 clients, you know, making um, websites from scratch to, you know, a couple of hundred thousand traffic, you know, to some extent, millions of traffic for their websites. So um, if you ask me, why should people focus on, um, you know, SEO, why not some other strategies? Um, so look, um, I think, um, everyone who are into this marketing, uh, or in, in, into any businesses, right. So they need traffic, whether it's online or offline, right. For the online solutions, um, you know, you have a couple of options, either you have to go paid options or you go free options. I mean, there is nothing free though, but uh, you know, there is some, let's say for the paid options, let's say paid advertisements, um, you know, be it Google advertisement, Facebook advertisements, or YouTube or any other channels where you could, you know, put up your ads and get some traffic to your, you know, businesses and get some conversion. This is one way of doing things, right? And then there, there's another way of doing things as let's say with, with search engines, you still have to pay for let's say content or link building, but you know, these are slow and steady built up um, you know, process, right? Where you, uh, you know, gradually build up your website, you do some researches, you, you create contents that people search related to your business, right? And then oh, you, you do some technical, um, you know, uh, I think brick building together to, to be able to make sure your content uh, or your website is, is ready to get rankings on, on search engines, whether it's Google, Yahoo, Bing, or any other search engines. So there is some, some set of activities that needs to be taken care of to be able to rank up there, right? But uh, if you do, I mean, if you focus on search engines, let's say you have to continue, uh, you know, this process of making contents, doing research analysis, making backlinks and, you know, all sort of activities for about, let's say one year or a half, or maybe even more than that to be able to get a sustainable um, number of traffic. So you can literally make, let's say a hundred, um, you know, a couple of thousand traffic to hundred thousands or millions of traffic for your business. Now, the good thing is when you are putting up contents and backlinks, these are just small investments that you're making into the process for about a couple of years. And then once you have a website ranking, for the desired queries that your target audience are searching for. So you'll get them coming to your website and, and, and then making purchases or getting your businesses without you having to pay for them to come into your website from that point, right? So, and you can continue getting these benefits for, uh, for many, many years to go, right? Whereas with the paid channels, for example, whether it's a, it's a Facebook advertisements or it's Google or, or I don't know, maybe paying affiliates for, for your referral or anything you do, 
So you make a, uh, you put up an ad, right? And then you start driving traffic to a business. Once you stop that, you, you don't get any business, right? Um, right. And, 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 and the, there's another thing, let's say, um, you, you know, everyone now, nowadays, every, in any business, let's say there are, there are tons of e-commerce are growing out there, right? Everyone into this business and everyone has their Facebook fan page, putting up an ad just with a random click, right? So what is happening on, happening on the back end is the, the CPC or, you know, cost per click or cost per mile is getting higher and higher. It's getting crazy, right? So it's getting competitive. Everyone, I mean, let's say you were in a, in a, you were a local plumber, right? So you put up, you hire someone to put up an ad for you, right? And then they put up an ad um, online, whether it's any, any, any channel, right? So there are hundreds of other, um, you know, same service provider in uh, area. So what if everyone goes after the same advertisement method, right? And then the, the, the because it, 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 it works based on bidding. So the more number of advertisers are available for a certain, you know, keywords. Um, so the, the higher the cost per click gets, right? So it, it's, it's getting costly and crazy. And, uh, you know, honestly, as soon as you, you put up, I mean, you stop your ad, you don't get any traffic. So, whereas with search engine optimizations, you build up slowly, but once you have it uh, ready and optimized up there, so you will continue getting traffic and without you having to worry about paying, without you having to worry about, you know, CPC going crazy and, you know. So the bottom line is if you, if you are, uh, building up on SEO slow and steady, you get a life, uh, I mean, a, a, a results for many, many years to go. That's the most beautiful part about SEO, right? Yeah. And, and there's a lot to think about here that, you know, there's, there's a million ways to get traffic. Traffic is a thing we need to be uh, thinking about, focused on. And as you're saying, the, the paid option, it sounds good in theory, right? When you have the, the fire hose of all these people coming and clicking, but then you hear all these stories about how, like, you run LinkedIn ads and they're $12 for one click or these people that run Facebook ads, they're happy if they lose $25 per lead because then they can add in all these things with the funnel and maybe just barely break even after six upsells or maybe even lose a little bit of money. And then you think, okay, so the, the paid ads are scary, but then the, the free methods of just creating content without a strategy seems really slow and maybe a, a recipe for giving up before it really gets traction. But what I like about what you've, some of these things you've explained here is that some of these things like, like link, link building and putting and being more strategic and looking at where you're at and looking at your rankings and creating content consistently and creating uh, information that people want to know about that they're already searching for. We use the, uh, some of these tools you mentioned uh, quickly. Uh, and so that way you kind of have a better plan and you have something where you put in the, the work or your team puts in the work for this block of time to get this built up. And then that's something that you can maintain or dial back or pause or revisit later. So that seems like a, a, a much more uh, sustainable, safer, and logical way of going about this. And so when you hear backlinks, you hear all these different, uh, you get all these different ideas, right? When you think backlinks, you think about like uh, doing keyword research, you think about creating guest blog posts and like marketing them to some of these other sites. You think about uh, going to sites and like paying for a link or paying someone for like a, like a forum signature link. But when, when you talk about backlinks, like, what are you talking about? Like, what are your maybe like favorite ways of getting these backlinks? Oh, well, uh, okay. So um, this is interesting. You know, um, basically when I, I was actually doing this back in the days, there have been a lot of ways of making backlinks. For example, you know, uh, making blog comments or maybe going to a forum, creating an account, maybe, you know, participating on th different threads and then putting up a link there. And, um, you know, then reaching out to blogs and there have been actually many, many ways back in the days. Um, but, you know, over the, um, over the course of time, Google has gotten more smart and they actually value, um, you know, only the quality backlinks. I mean, not something that you can 
manipulate, right? I mean, they, they actually consider backlink as, as votes, right? I mean, as a positive signal that you have some maturity, I mean, the, whatever the niche you are in, so you, you, or you the, the content that you put up there or you you have on your website, they're genuine, they're, they're meeting people search intent, right? And then you are genuine um, individual in this niche and you really solve people problems. So this is what Google lo look for to be able to you know, put them up on the search engine top, right? So, or maybe, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm just talking about Google because, you know, when we talk about search engine, mostly Google is the, is the first thing that comes up our mind, right? So um, uh, let's say, so basically nowadays, the backlinking um, method have um, evolved a lot um the poor backlinks does not work any longer you know P there just just a few years back pvn has to be uh, i mean used to be a very um uh, smart way of making backlinks people were making you know tons of uh, successful websites out of one particular pvn network so i'm not sure if everyone understand P what pvn is I, I think everyone understand this pretty much but you know to give you a little quick idea so this, uh, let's say you buy some expired domains um, with some domain authority, and then you create contents, uh, let's say 10, 15, 20, 30 contents, uh, and put uh, contents for every uh, domains that you have. Let's say you, you, get, you own, let's say 30 or 50 uh, bunch of expired domains, and then you, you put up contents uh, related to your you know, money website, let's say you have a website in, I don't know, hairstyle, right? So the, the other 40 or 50, uh, you know, expert domains that you bought, so you create, let's say 10, 15 contents and put them up on, you know, on those websites and then internally link from those websites to your original website or the one that you are trying to rank. And then maybe you have another website, you still, you do the same, maybe you put up another content on those batch of, you know, 40, 50 domains that you have, and then get a link to your money website or your original website. So that way, so basically you have 40 or 50 um, website circle that you are just, you're just maintaining, putting some, you know, average content, not just, you know, well-researched content, just ra random contents, and then getting links from there to your original website or your money website or your target website, right? This has been a strategy, but this does not any um, you know work anymore. Or it, it, nowadays, if you are found to be getting backlinks from PBNs, or link farms, you are screwed, you, you, you are endangered. Now, what's the best way to make backlinks? So there are, you know, skyscraper backlinks, there are guest post backlinks, there are horror backlinks and, uh, you know, niche edits, and there are many more, right? Uh, but, you know, the most effective ones that um, is proven to be working for us now, and which is the genuine way of making backlinks, as in, you know, you have a genuine website in any niche, and you, you figure out uh, websites which are really um, into your niche and solving the similar problems in your niche. So everyone needs content, right? So we, when we are, uh, what we're trying to do is here, we reach out to webmasters related to our client's niche. And then we, we they're, they're into the same niche, right? So, and then, um, if we, we, we offer them a, a valuable content, which um, is research driven, let's say, which is with um, a good keyword research and the, the keyword it would be ranking, or we know uh, let, let's the keyword difficulty is, um, or the keyword competition is literally very low. We, it's easy to be ranked. So we will just do the research and we will approach them with a um, you know, content idea that this is what we would like to write for you. And maybe possible we will do some other, uh, I mean, we'll help them with some other SEO strategies possible uh, so that we, we um, you know, give them a real value there, right? I mean, we create a content for them, which is tailored to their, their you know, niche uh, and then which is re research in terms of SEO in mind, which will get them in rank. So we'll, we'll write them a content and then they will um, put, up, uh, put them up on, the, uh, on their website with a proper or one link back to our client's website. Now, this is not just any random website. Again, this is going to be like, um, you know, the, the specifically niche relevant website and the website with uh, traffic 
All right. So any website, let's say, if how do you know if a website is genuine or if a website is good enough uh, that will be considered as a good backlinking source, right? So that so there used to be domain authority, domain authority and domain rating is still relevant, but you know if there, as I said earlier, so people buy expired domains. So with expired domains, there will always be domain authority and domain rating so but but there will not be enough traffic to back them up right but if you have a website with decent domain authority and domain rating at the same time um you know um with, with, with the traffic so basically it's, it's a genuine website and there are other other criteria that we also you know make sure that that uh, is relevant and then once we have the website um audited properly or maybe vetted properly we just um, propose them and then get a link back to our client's website. This is, um, um, you know, basically a value exchange in terms of giving them a content. So basically, if you if you um, put it, um, give it a name, so it would be, you know, um, a manual outreach that that we prefer, right? Yeah, and and I mean, uh, I don't know about you, but. I've lately had a lot of success with the manual outreach and like, it's always like you, you think about it on the surface and you're like, well, isn't it kind of spamming? But then when you actually look at these people that you're reaching out to and you do a little bit of research and you customize it and you say, I want to solve your problem. You have mm -hmm. this, this high traffic site, you have this blog and you always are in need of content. And I have the, this client and this, my client needs traffic from your blog. So here I am in the middle saying, I want to create this tailor-made content that will help my client, but more importantly, it will help you and your site because it's related to what you normally post about on your site, but it's something new and fresh. So it's it's less work for uh, you to do. And uh, and, and so, uh, yeah, it's, it's like, it, it seems like as you're explaining about these techniques that uh, used to work, but then, you know, every few years that just gets wiped out and there's some new technique that that replaced it. And it seems like Google is always working so hard to win this war that they're fighting of, of forcing us to create good content, to create value, right? There were those those good old days where you can run the software and generate all, all this garbage that would fool their primitive system now. But it's like it's caught up now where Google wants all of us to create value. So that way, when someone is doing a search on their search engine, they land on a page, they stay on the page, they get the answer to the problem they were looking for. It makes total sense. We want to make Google happy, and then they will reward us with all, all the traffic that, that they can that have to supply for us. And so uh, one little web.com is your website. You do managed SEO, authority backlinks, which we've been talking about, guest posts, uh, guest post backlinks we've been talking about, content writing. Mm -hmm. And in these last few minutes, I want to make sure we work into this uh, this term managed SEO. So can you tell us what managed SEO is and why it's so important? Because it sounds like a really cool term, right? Managed SEO. Yeah, correct. Um, well, you know, um, we, we, we have um, a different set of clients um, that we meet every day. So one client is, um, you know, they know nothing about what to do. They have money. They would like to do some businesses. They have been to many blogs and websites and know, um, would like to make some passive incomes, right? And they would like to invest in, in making a website and they would like to make sure that they, they are following the right footstep to make sure they make money, right? And there, there are some other, other clients, they know their game. They just go uh, come and, you know, place an order for backlinks. They know how many backlinks they need, what quantity, what quality they need. They just place an order for it, right? We have uh, other clients who ju were just agencies. They have, um, you know, account managers, you know, maybe um, ordering for whatever they need. Again, they communicate with a team and then they get it done because they know what, what needs to be taken care of. So the clients who doesn't have any idea, you know, how, how it's done or who wants, a, who wants partner to help them um, succeed or who wants, to, who wants, you know, their invested money into a website, you know, gets them the real results that they deserve, right? So here comes one little web, you know, uh, managed service. So where we actually take care of A to Z of the operation, meaning um, you, you want to make a website. So 
we will do everything it takes. So we will do the research, we'll set it, um, you know, footsteps or the strategies needs to be taken care of. We will create the website. We will, you know, make sure it's technically optimized. It's on-page optimized. We will do the keyword research. We will write the content um, and then followed by making the proper backlink. So basically from A to Z of these will be done on taking care of us. So it, basically our client will just come We'll get it. Uh, we'll get them connected with an account manager. The account manager knows because they have been handling this for many, many clients. They know um, basically what what are the footsteps to be taken care of, or what are the things to be taken care of, right? So we'll just initially we'll would know clients' interest. Um, what is that they would like to, you know, what niche they have interest in? If they have some some maybe ideal website, they would like us to maybe create a website for them. I mean, which is similar to that. So, and then from that point, we'll do rest of the analysis and we'll communicate whatever we have the strategies built. And then once the client um, agrees upon um, on the, the project or whatever the proposal we have, we go from there. And, and this is great because it, it seems like, uh, in our, especially in our conversation, every few years, this SEO thing just changes completely. And then there's so many nooks and crannies to know about. I mean, you were mentioning earlier about uh, domain authority and PBNs and expired domains, and there's just so much to keep on top of, and it can be overwhelming, it can be exhausting. So I can see the need and the value for having this managed SEO service where they ask these questions like saying, uh, what sort of website do you want to be like? You provide these ideas, you have this strategy. That way it's not just saying, well, I want to do a bunch of this technique. I want to do a bunch of, of guest blog posts. You can say, well, maybe there's something that's more important ahead of time, or maybe there's something that uh, is ongoing that that we can do. And so, uh, did I hear you right in that this is like a, an everyday thing, like a there's like a daily meeting, or did I mishear you? Um, well, we we meet clients every day basis, but from I mean, uh, we have many clients coming up. You know, they would like to sign up, they would like to know more. We have, uh, as I said, we we meet clients. I mean, we agency clients, individuals. Um, we we'll just need backlinks, we we'll need content service, or you know, they need the total solution. So we have to meet clients every day, and, and maybe a lot of them. I mean, I, my schedule is mostly booked, you know, meeting clients throughout the day. Okay. Uh, and so, I mean, if you say from like a client's perspective, your typical client, is there a meeting like once a week, once a month. I mean, I know that you say that. So you say you meet every day, but say a client comes to you, like typically how often do they meet? Oh, okay. So uh, let's say once we have um, a client who would like to know us. So basically we initially made, we, 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 we set a goal that we'd like to do this and that. And then maybe one, um, after a week, we, we communicate whatever the proposal we have in place. And then once we agreed upon this, um, and then it doesn't really require us to communicate or the client doesn't need to, you know, um, communicate every other day. It, it depends on their um, uh, needs or what their expectation. Let's say once we, we get it going, so we'll, uh, we'd be keeping them posted on the progress, whatever the things we're doing, or if we need any sort of approval, let's say we have um, some issue expert clients as well. I mean, they're taking care of their clients um, backlinking with us, right? So on that on that case, maybe our account manager will, will do certain backlinkings or some contents, and um, you know we need to run them through uh, the, the client to make sure we are on the same page or comply the client's requirements. And then once, once the client gives us a you know thumbs up or, or I mean give it a go, we go from there, right? So it's an approval process that we have for the backlinking thing. But for the manager still, basically, we will keep the client posted every step of the process. If the client needs that or feels like you know talking to us or you know speaking with our account managers, they can do so at any given moment. Okay, well, fantastic. Well, I can tell that you're you're very organized and you know what you're talking about from all this discussion about uh, th things like setting goals and having these metrics. And uh, so as far as like the price point, I know it's a loaded question when someone says, well, how much will this, this price be? Because you've mentioned all these services and some people want it all in one and some people want to pick and choose, but is it in the, in the hundreds? Is it in the thousands? Do your clients typically like start small and then ramp up or then ramp back down once it's kind of in the maintenance mode? Like about what, what is the typical price range? Okay. 
Okay, all right. So the price uh, price range is um, three different pricing, or I think four different prices we have. We have one pricing for the content writing. We have a uh, pricing for the guest posts. We have pricing for, uh, you know, authority backlinks, and we have pricing for the managed SEO. So uh, let me give you uh, an idea of the content. So basically, we um, uh, we have two different pricing for the content. So it starts from ninety nine dollar per thousand words. And then uh, there is another package, um, uh, which is expert level content write up so which is um, $129. Um, and th these are two types of, um, you know, content writing uh, we have. And for the backlinking, so it starts from uh, 99 um, and it, it, it goes up to 350 par backlinks. We have packages as well. We have monthly plans as well um, for the backlinks. So typically um, a client start with an, um, a trial offer basically, which is $349. So this is a trial offer where they get to know our, our service. Basically with this trial offer, they get a DF50 backlink. I mean, they, they pay for DF50 backlink and they get a DF40 backlink free with that one. And then with this uh, trial offer, they get to know us and our service, how it's like working with one little web. And from there, basically, once they get a hang of it or they understand um, if, if, if they know that this is the service they need or they're satisfied with us, so they can go from there, right? So uh, typically, a client uh, on an average spends um, from $1,000 per month basis to you know, some of the clients spending tens of thousands of dollars per month basis. So it depends on clients' um, you know, expectations and number of contents they're building, number of backlinks they're building. So ideally, if, if it's a single or individual clients, maybe just would like to get started, um, I would say whether it's content productions or with the, with the backlink on an average, a thousand dollars is enough to get it going. And once they get get some you know um, some positive response and making money from their website, they can actually increase the budget because they would like to you know gain more from search engines, right? So if you would like to gain more, you need to put up more contents and build more backlinks, which will essentially cost you higher or more, right? Right, and if their your client is making money from the money they they put in initially why wouldn't they want to increase that and uh, right. and yeah it's always scary when you're when you're dealing with uh you know pay, paying money or someone doing a service for you or seeing the results but I'm, i always tell myself like okay i'll figure out what my budget is that i'm going to spend and then i'll decide mm -hmm. on what the goal is so what would i be happy with in order to either continue or stop and then what's the the time frame I'll give myself? So I'll give myself like a month or two, enough time to, to make this work, but not so long that I get distracted with some other project. And so, uh, and I, I imagine that if someone is uh, watching or listening to this podcast and they say, okay, well, we've thrown out all those things about like content writing and backlinks, but I'm not exactly sure exactly what I want. They can go to onelittleweb.com and get on a, a phone call with you or someone with your team and figure out a plan, right? Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. So one thing I, I wanted to mention, basically, you know, when I was talking about the package and you know, or maybe client not knowing where to get started with. Right. So I have this client, basically, maybe I met about one year or one and a half, I guess. So basically, I, I had a discussion with her. She's from, um, I think, USA, New York. So she's into uh, food niche. So basically, um, when, when we got started, probably she had around 30,000 traffic per month basis to her blog. And then she was um, uh, she was not sure how to get started or you know what should be her budget. So we initially offered her to you know settle in for for about thousand dollar basis and then get some you know backlinks and maybe we also suggested her to create some content. So you know in the in this case we didn't create the content. She was the one who took care of the content. So basically we were taking care of the backlinks, but we we set some strategies for her to create contents on her own because she was uh, so skeptical to write those contents from any other sources rather than she was taking care of her own contents. So anyway, um, we, we created the roadmap for her and then she continued um, creating the contents of her own. And then at the same time, we were making the backlinks per month basis. It was costing her roughly $1,000. Now, after a year, um, her, her traffic grew from 30,000 to 150,000 traffic. Um, and then she was super happy. Uh, with the fact that the content that we suggested worked out really well and started getting ranks and the old content she used to had were getting better results. Now, and then we said, uh, we said on another meeting, we 
you know, revise that strategies because she had a higher goal. She would like to go a million traffic per month basis. Now we we then you know figured out more you know keyword opportunities, more contents to be put up, and then you know we we made some calendars, and we, you know this time we also created some contents because by the time we spent a year, she already knew the type of contents we created and how we understand, you know, what's the quality of the content. So basically she also gave us some of the responsibilities to create some content. So basically uh, from that point, we, we, uh, we go from $1,000 package to $3,500 package where we were taking care of some of the content writing part and most of the, most importantly, you know, powerful backlinks were the backlink backlinks with more authority and more traffic, and which will you know cause her more or better rankings. And you know, she's getting now super results, and she's super happy with you know the strategy. But bottom line is, she started slow, and then once she started getting some results, she then you know allocated some budget from the money she earned from the blog. And then now she's looking uh, looking forward to making a uh, five hundred thousand traffic per month basis, and then afterwards probably a million million traffic per month basis. Awesome! I, I love that story. And there's there's so much to think about there. And uh, I imagine that there's like the typical business owner probably does not even know how much traffic they have. They probably don't even know if the amount of traffic they have is any good. And even if they do, there's not really much of a plan to increase that. And, and, and man, what a difference it could make if someone had you and your team just always, always working with the, the gears, always churning and, and, you know, people always uh, thinking about content and figuring out uh, these calendars that, that you're mentioning here and like looking at the existing traffic and figuring out the goals and trying out new ideas because we're all spread so thin. There's always a million things going on. There's always a million fires to put out. And uh, some of the, this, these things like with traffic and SEO and backlinks, not everyone is excited about it the way that, that you are and your team and your company is. So people need you. They, they need this service. They need to increase their traffic. They need to get these numbers figured out, get these things measured, and they need to go to onelittleweb.com to get themselves educated, to take the next step, because this is such an important thing. So uh, the place to go right now is onelittleweb.com. And as we're wrapping up our conversation here, Suzanne, can you tell us uh, any final parting words of advice or anything you think we left out to just wrap up this conversation? Um, well, I think um, we pretty much discussed, um, you know, what it uh, what it is. Uh, but I think if if someone um, um, you know would like to, I mean, if, if anyone wants to get some traffic uh, or maybe would like to actually make a difference to their to their business, maybe SEO is something they should definitely focus on. If they cannot maybe get started with an SEO agency or maybe they cannot help from, um, you know, or they cannot actually maybe don't have any budget to maybe start with an agency or maybe professional help they could actually, you know, learn, uh, I mean, go to some blogs or maybe, you know, see some tutorials and, you know, try the approaches on the, on, on, by their own, right? And then maybe if once they have some money making from their websites, then they can probably take professional help. But, you know, it, it's definitely a good idea to maybe get started with SEO. Even if you are also in, in into paid channels, maybe you should allocate some, some, you know, some budgets for the search and um, search and optimizations part, let's say you are spending, I don't know, maybe ten thousand dollar per month basis on the pay channels, right? So maybe if you just um, allocate fifty percent of those of this budget into search and optimizations, that will not get you results right away. But you know, let's say five months or ten months down the road, your pay channels are not working fine, or maybe your cost per acquisition is really higher that you cannot really make any 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 profit at that margin. Now, what do you need, if you have your search engine optimizations properly done right and ready and make, making you some some traffic, so maybe you have a relaxed point where you get some traffic, you still businesses going up, right? So rather than having or maybe focusing all in, in into pay channels, you should focus on search engines uh, optimizations. Or if you are just learning, uh, trying to do it all by yourself, maybe do it all your own, do some learnings, you know, watch tutorials, have some experience going on. I mean, experiments going on. And once you have some some results showing up, making some money, probably you can take in a professional help so you can you can you can bring it better on. I mean, make it bigger, right? 
Yeah. And I love your mindset here. You're a true entrepreneur. You're a true problem solver. You say things like, well, if you don't have the, the budget figured out yet, if you don't have the money saved up yet, then then try some of it on your own. And once you do have the money saved up, then start small with a, with a small package. And once you see results, then increase that. And even uh, earlier, you were mentioning about how the, the lady from New York City, it seemed like at first she was more hands-on and more looking at the concept, but eventually as it was dialed in, it was less and less work for her. Uh, and so the, the kind of the lesson I'm getting from hearing about your mindset is that the the, 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 the goals and the strategy always change, right? You're at this point where you are right now, and you might go and try some of this with SEO. And now you're, now you're over here and you have this result. And then you say, okay, based on what, what we've created and how far we've come, maybe now it's time to pivot and then focus on these other things. Uh, and so it's really cool to, to um, kind of see your, your mind work and to hear about the way that you say, well, here's the problem of, you know, the business isn't growing enough or the income is not enough or the traffic is not enough or the, the keyword ranking is not enough. Here are some things that we'll do to incrementally get there. So this is uh, wonderful to think about. And I feel like now, now I have to now I have to go and look up some of this backlink and, and SEO stuff because now I'm excited from what you told me. But the number one place for someone to go, even if they're going to get educated or think about this. Either way, they need to go to onelittleweb.com right now. That way they, they know what their options are. And sometimes you don't know what you don't know, right? You might do a Google search or look on YouTube about SEO and backlinks. And you're not even sure what you're looking for. But the, the end goal for everyone on this call needs to be to go to onelittleweb.com. So at least that way you can look around the page and see all the services that are provided, like the managed SEO and the content writing. And that way you know where you need to go. Uh, and that way when the time is right, once you say, I want to go in and book a call now with the team or get started on a trial offer, then that is where you can get that dialed in, onelittleweb.com. And thank you so much, Sujan. Su I, can't, I can't say the, the name, Sujan for yeah, showing up. And what's up? Yeah, you got it correct. Thank you very uh, much. Okay, okay. I, I should have believed in myself, right? Right. So uh, everyone who has a website, you need to believe in yourself as well because you can get your blog to 100,000 impressions. You can get your blog to a million impressions. It's just a matter of getting there with the right tools, with the right team, with the right budget and solving some of these problems. So onelittleweb.com is the place to go. And thank you very much for our conversation. Thank you very much. It was nice talking to you. Same here.